good morning my dear students welcome to the discussion on the topic projection of straight lines part 2 under this we are discussing concepts terms and procedure used in straight line incline to both the planes now we'll discuss what are the terms used in projection of lines first one true length this is the actual length of the line and is called true length plan length or top view length the apparent length of the line seen in top view is called the plan length or top view length elevation length or front view length the apparent length of the line seen in front view is called the elevation length or front view length point view of the line the view of line seen as a point that is when the views of two ends coincides is called the point view true inclination with hp true inclination with hp is denoted by theta it is the true angle that line makes with its projection on the hp it is indicated by theta that is true inclination with hp is denoted by theta it is the true angle that line makes with its projection on the hp it is indicated by theta that is true inclination with hp then true inclination with vp it is denoted by phi it is the true angle that line makes with its projection on the vp it is indicated by phi that is true inclination with vp that is theta and phi are the true inclinations apparent angle with the hp that is alpha it is the angle which front view line seems to be making with the hp it is indicated by alpha apparent angle with hp is denoted by alpha it is the angle which front view line seems to be making with hp it is indicated by alpha apparent angle with the vp it is denoted by beta it is the angle which top view line seems to be making with vp it is indicated by beta that is front view line making an angle with hp is denoted by alpha top view line making an angle with vp is denoted by beta that's about the discussion on terms used under projection of straight line inclined to both the planes now we'll move towards what is the information supplied in the problem and what are the cases under projection of straight lines projection of straight lines in order to draw the projection of straight lines what is the basic information they'll supply to us this information regarding a line means its length position of its ends with hp and vp its inclinations with hp and vp will be given and they are asking us to draw its projections that means we need to draw front view and top view now we will move towards cases under projection of straight line first case line parallel to one and perpendicular to another second case line parallel to both hp and vp third case line inclined to hp and parallel to vp fourth case line inclined to vp and parallel to hp fifth case line inclined to both hp and vp this all these four cases were discussed under projection of straight line part 1 for your reference link is provided under description of this video go through the concepts terms and procedure used under projection of straight line part 1 in order to know perfectly about these four cases now we'll move towards line inclined to both hp and vp the fifth case is projection of straight line inclined to both the principal planes here principal planes are nothing but horizontal plane and vertical plane this concept we'll discuss with the help of a problem the given problem is a line ab is inclined at theta degrees to hp and phi degrees with vp respectively and a is above hp and in front of vp draw its projections line is in first quadrant 
here a line AB is inclined at theta degrees to HP and 5 degrees with VP respectively. And A is above HP and in front of VP. Draw its projections. Line is in the first quadrant. Here, the line is inclined at theta degrees to the HP and 5 degrees to the VP. One end of the line A is above HP and in front of VP. That means A dash comes above XY line and A comes below XY line. The line is in the first quadrant. That means the line is placed in the first quadrant. So front view comes above the XY line, top view comes below the XY line. Now we will write the data. Here, true length of the line is AB. True inclination of the line with HP is theta. True inclination of the line with VP is phi. Then, and A is above HP and in front of VP. That means A dash is above XY line and A is below XY line. With this data, we will move towards solution. The solution part is divided into five stages. Stage one, line is parallel to VP and inclined to HP. Stage two, line is parallel to HP and inclined to VP. Stage three, line is inclined to both HP and VP. Stage four, drawing final projections of the line. Stage five, writing important points from the solution. Here, this is pictorial representation of the line when it is parallel to VP and inclined to HP. This is pictorial representation of the line and the line is parallel to HP and inclined to VP. And this is pictorial representation of the line when the line is inclined to both HP as well as VP. Now we'll move towards stage one that is line is parallel to VP and inclined to HP. Stage one. Here in the case of stage one, line is inclined to HP and parallel to VP. If the line is parallel to VP means then true length will be on VP and the line is inclined to HP means reduce the length is on HP and it's one end say A is above HP and in front of VP. So front U that is A dash is above XY line and top U A is below XY line. Not always draw U in which true length is visible first. In this case front U. So, in order to see the true length of the line, we need to consider front view. So, at A as well as B, draw projectors towards the vertical plane. That is, this is the direction of the front view. So, at A as well as B, draw projectors towards the vertical plane. Those projectors are meeting the vertical plane at A dash as well as B dash. And this line is making an angle theta degrees to the HP. Say here A dash as well as B dash join A dash as well as B dash. Because the line is parallel to VP, that's why you'll get true length here. Next. In order to draw top view, what we have to do? We have to see top of the line. So at A as well as B, draw projectors vertically down towards the horizontal plane. Here, this is A and this is B because it's a top view. Join A as well as B. Because the line is inclined to HP, that's why here we'll get reduced length. Because the line is parallel to VP, that's why here we'll get true length. And we'll rotate the horizontal plane 90 degrees clockwise direction. Then we'll get top view below the XY line. Now we'll draw orthographic projections. First step, draw XY line, then draw projector. After that, locate A dash as well as A, then draw locus line at A dash. Then with true length as a radius and with the given inclination that is theta, draw true length of the line. Name the endpoint as B dash. This is the true length of the line and it is making an angle theta to the HP at B dash draw projector vertically down and this is the true length of the line. 
that at A parallel to XY line, draw a line, that line meets the projector at B. This is top view of the line. It is having reduced length. So for this true length, this is the reduced length. Then we'll move towards stage two solution. Second stage. What is second stage? Line is parallel to HP and inclined to VP. Because the line is parallel to HP, that's why you'll get true length on HP. And the line is inclined to VP, that's why you'll get reduced length on VP. Reduced length on VP. Next, one end of the line, say A, is above HP and in front of VP. So its front view A dash is above XY line and its top view A is below XY line. Then we have to start the solution in such a way that we have to select the view in which true length is visible first. In this case, top view. So as a first step, draw top view. So this is the direction of the top view and this is the direction of the front view. Then at A as well as B, draw projectors vertically down towards the horizontal plane. Those projectors are meeting at a point A as well as B, join AB. This is the true length of the line in top view. Then at A as well as B, draw projectors towards the vertical plane. This is the direction of the front view. So at A as well as B, draw projectors towards the vertical plane. Those projectors are meeting the vertical plane at a dash as well as B dash because the line is inclined to VP. That's why you'll get reduced length on VP. Because the line is parallel to HP, that's why we'll get true length here. Because the line is inclined to VP, that's why we'll get reduced length here. Now we'll draw orthographic projections. Here we are rotating the horizontal plane 90 degrees clockwise direction. That's why we'll get top view below the XY line. Now we'll draw orthographic projections. As a first step, draw XY line. After that, draw projector and locate A dash above XY line and A below XY line on projector. Then draw locus lines at A dash as well as A. Then with true length and true inclination with VP, with true length and true inclination with VP, Draw a line at A, name the endpoint as B. This is true length and it is true inclination with VP. Endpoint is B. At B, draw projector vertically up. At A dash, draw a line parallel to XY line. That line cuts the projector at B dash. And A dash B dash is front U. Because the line is inclined to VP, that's why on VP we will get reduced length. Because the line is parallel to HP, that's why on HP we will get true length. That's about second stage solution. Then we'll move towards third stage, that is, line is inclined to both HP and VP. Stage 3. In the case of stage 3, straight line inclined with an angle of theta degrees to the HP and 5 degrees to the VP. So, in the case of first stage, the line is inclined with an angle of theta degrees to the HP and it is parallel to VP. Second stage, line is parallel to HP and it is inclined to VP. Now, we'll combine first stage as well as second stage in order to get line inclined to both the plane concept. As a first step, draw XY line. After that, draw projector. Locate A dash as well as A. And draw locus lines at A dash as well as A. A dash is above XY line. A is below XY line. Then, with a true length and true inclination with HP, draw true length of the line with true inclination as theta because it's a stage one. That's why we are using one as a suffix for the end point B. 
so it is making an angle theta for this we'll draw top u so draw projector vertically down then yet a dry line parallel to xy line name this point as b1 this is true length and this is reduced length in top u this is top u and this is true length in front u then second stage at a with a true length and true inclination with vp that is phi draw a line because it's related to stage 2 that's why for this b point we'll use suffix as 2 so at a with true length and true inclination with vp that is phi draw a line and name the endpoint as b2 then at b2 draw projector vertically up in order to get front u then a dash as a center draw a line parallel to xy line that line cuts the projector at b2 dash here a dash b1 dash a b2 are the true length of the line next a dash b2 dash is the front u it is having reduced length and a b1 top u it is having reduced length here the line is making an angle theta degrees to the hp and phi degrees to the vp now we will draw final projections for the line that is fourth stage stage four that is drawing final projection of the straight line here line ab is making an angle theta degrees with hp and phi degrees with vp here this line ab is making an angle theta degrees with hp and phi degrees with vp then we will get projection of the line in front u that is a dash b dash on vp this is the final projection of the line in front u that falls on the vertical plane and this front u is making an angle alpha degrees with hp then then top u of the line this is the top u of the line this top u of the line falls onto the horizontal plane the top u of the line falls onto the horizontal plane and it is making an angle beta degrees with the vp so ab is the top view of the line and it is making an angle beta degrees with vp here a dash b dash is the front view of the line and it is making an angle alpha degrees with the hp now our objective is to draw these final projections that is a dash b dash as well as ab so for that what we have to do as a first step draw locus line for b1 dash now here a dash b1 dash is making an angle theta degrees to the hp and again we have to tilt this line in such a way that it is going to make an angle phi degrees to the vp then this b1 dash point moves from here to there then this point is b dash this point is b dash now to get this point what we have to do with compass keep one leg of the compass here and another end is to be rotated another end is to be kept here name this point as b dash join a dash as well as b dash this is the final front view and it is going to make an angle alpha degrees with hp then we'll draw final top view for that draw locus line at b2 then this is the true length of the line and it is making an angle 5 degrees with vp in addition to 5 degrees if you tilt the line with an angle of theta degrees then b2 point moves from here to there this point is going to be b in order to get point b what we have to do a as a center a b1 as a radius with compass draw an arc here after that name this point as b join a b this is the final top view and it is making an angle beta degrees this is the final front view and this is the final top view then join b and b dash here a a dash b b dash are parallel to each other they are called n projectors here the final projection of the line in front view that is a dash b dash is making an angle alpha degrees to the hp and final projection of the line in top view that is ab is making an angle beta degrees to the vp 
here when compared to this a dash b2 dash that is initial front tube a dash b1 dash that is true length of the line a b2 true length of the line a b1 initial top tube the final projection of the line say a dash b dash and a b are more darker now we'll move towards writing the important points related to this solution 10 important points to be remembered with notations used here onwards here true length that is a dash b1 dash and a b2 that is a dash b1 dash and a b2 are true lengths then angle of true length with hp that is theta angle of true length with vp that is phi angle of front view with xy that is alpha angle of top view with xy that is beta length of front view that is a dash b2 dash is equal to a dash b dash then length of top view that is a b1 is equal to a b next position of a distances of a and a dash from xy position of b distances of b and b dash from xy distance between end projectors that is distance between a a dash line and b b dash line next a a dash and b b dash are called end projectors theta and alpha construct with a dash that is theta and alpha construct with a dash phi and beta construct with a next b dash and b1 dash on same locus line b and b2 on same locus line this is the most important diagram showing graphical relations among all important parameters of this topic study and memorize and use in solving various problems that's about concept terms and procedure used for projection of straight line inclined to both the planes visit again for more videos on engineering graphics the links provided under description of this video keep learning and knowledge sharing if you have any queries you can mention under comment section under this video i'll respond